Yes, no problem. The, the creator created the earth, us within it, everything within it. Mm. What about things like space? What do you mean, space? Well, space, different planets, if there's other yeah. life on other planets. There's planet. other creators, you know, it's funny to say. say that in the, in the Quran, Quran says that, and the Quran says, Allah said, وَخَلَقَ مَا لَا تَعْلَمُونَ And he created things we do not know. So there's uh, other things which Allah created we don't know, okay. we're not aware of. We don't, like even, is this the first creation of God? No, there's many creations of God, in this time. But my point here is that God gave us two things. Oh, there's many uh, uh, tools that God gave us in order for us to utilize them to come to a conclusion. Our natural inclination. What is natural inclination? Naturally, I know, I don't have to go to school or a college or university. I, I, I should not have sex with my mother. I don't have to learn that. That naturally within me, I know that is wrong. Naturally, I know if I see someone stepping on, on a baby's head, I know that is oppression. Naturally, I don't have to be from, a, I don't have to be Christian or a Jew or a Muslim or a Hindu. That's called natural inclination. Okay? Likewise, naturally, I know if I see in a, a house in the middle of the desert, I must have a creator that house. I don't have to be a Christian or a Muslim or atheist to come to a conclusion that this house, well designed, well um, organized house, must have a creator. Okay? Likewise, our natural uh, uh, intellect, sound intellect, okay? Likewise, our senses. That's why in the Quran, always Allah tells us and directs us, use your brain, use your intellect. That's why in Islam, anything that harms the intellect is forbidden. You know, because why? That differ us, differentiate us from the rest of the, the, the creation. You know, there is no other creation that makes uh, camera, cameras or iPhone except human beings. You see what I'm saying? So God, that's what Allah said in the Quran. Allah mentioned Faddanna Bani Adam. We have favored the son of Adam, the human being, over the other creations. Okay. You know, and you can, you can observe that, that human beings create things which other creation cannot do that. Like animals and so on. So my point here, to bring you back, that when you say, I don't know, I don't know, no. I'm not, saying, I'm not trying to force you. There is stuff which, there is no other options. Either this or that. Or you can bring other option. Out of this creation was created by a creator who possesses knowledge, power, ability, wisdom, or was created by nothing. Who is the creator? Huh? Who is the creator? Let's have fun. There is a creator first. It's the creator, yeah. Because, for, yeah, for, that's it, yeah. Okay, I hear you. Matthew, you have to affirm, for example, if you don't accept someone made the phone, made the camera, there's no point telling you who, where is shoe size. First of all, as established. If you establish, then we come to see who is the creator. So the creator for you wasn't Miracle, Big Bang, all that stuff. No, a, a, a Big Bang, what is a Big Bang? That's what science tells us. Yeah, but a Big Bang, that's a Big Bang. Is a Big Bang I mean, someone? It can be explained, that's, that's, the, that's the beauty of it. No, let us analyze, let us analyze. A Big Bang, what is a Big Bang? Is it an action or a doer? The actual, of what, what supposedly happened. Yeah, the action. Big Bang is the action. For the sake of arguments, which I don't mean it. Or do it. Yeah. The Big Bang doesn't have a brain, it's an effect, it's an action. Yes. It is an effect, it's That's an effect it. rather than an action. That's it. Okay. That's the effect. So, how effects can. The effect doesn't exist in the real life. It has to have caused it. You see? It's like someone telling me, I tell him, who brought the camera here? He said, walking. Walking? Walking is an action. Yeah. I know the guy who brought here, he was walking. Okay, when well, someone's pushing him in the wheelchair, but these are called actions. Who carried the action? You see, that's why, you know, when you reflect upon the creation, just on ourselves. As I've mentioned many times, we have a nose next to our mouth. Why? Before you eat, smell food. We have a joint in our elbows in order for us to utilize them. We have our eyebrows above our eyes. Why? To protect us from the sweat, because the sweat contains salt. We don't have a teeth in our eyes. Uh, that's what Allah said in the Quran. Within yourself, there is a science of your creator, the one who should, who should be worshipped alone. Don't you not reflect? That's the beauty. I do, but then there's, you know, with things like You reflect, that, yeah? I will reflect. Yeah, that's good. The discussion, right? Reflect. The discussion. Thank you very much, my I mean, friend. There's, there's other things you try and attribute reason to. We used to have tails and we could swim underwater. I'd love to be able to do that now. So obviously the idea of the eyebrows and the teeth and everything else makes perfect sense because that's yeah. what we use them for. Are you believing that the evolution you're talking about? You said yeah, the... yeah, 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 ah, yeah. Come on, Matthew. Uh, this is... Uh, this is... I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. I, I, I don't believe that in evolution. Why? First of all, let us analyze what is 
uh, method of science scientific, scientific method. method scientific method which they taught us is in the book of science that is a collection of data based upon observation and it has to go through experimentation then you come to a conclusion and repeatability that's what experimentation you have to do it over and over again you see so let us is there anyone has observed when one kind evolved to a completely different kind no one observed it even even richard dawkins richard dawkins said when he was uh, uh, put on the spot he said no you have to give the, the, we don't live a longer life that's why we cannot see it but are you telling me there is no type of animals that have been alive for a billion of years and there's a time for them to turn human beings or something else? You, you know better than me. I, yeah, don't, I, know. I don't know, I don't know. I know. I don't know. <laughs> but I'm telling you, that's why you know, you know when you look to Islam, not because I'm a Muslim, but when you look to Islam, yeah? Islam is, goes in line with the sound reasoning and natural inclination. That this creation must have a creator. So is that what drew it to you then, out of all of the religions? Yeah, of course. About Islam? Islam, because as I've mentioned, when it comes to belief, which is called the creed, simple. There is one creator, one God, possess knowledge, power, ability, uh, ability wisdom, other attributes, create this creation based upon his generosity and wisdom. And he sent the prophets and messengers to teach us what is our purpose of this life. So to be, for example, to worship him and to be grateful to him. And as always, I mentioned this example, I mentioned it many times, if I give you two million pounds as a gift, what do you say to me? Thank you. Thank you very much. Mm. It's a big money, you see. But if I give you two million pounds, on a condition, give me your two eyes, you want to do that. Because your eyes are more valuable than two million pounds. So why we are not grateful, the one who gave us eyes for free? Why we are not grateful to him? So you are. You see what I'm saying? That's why we have, and the question that we should ask ourselves, what is the correct way to be grateful to him? And I always mention this example, if I want to buy a gift, to my mother, I'm going to buy a gift that the, my mother loves, not I love. Likewise, we should worship the Creator the way He loves, not the way we love. But first of all, for you, Matthew, there is no doubt there is a Creator for this creation. Even when you come to the prophets and messengers, Jesus, Moses, Abraham, Noah, Jacob, Isaac, these prophets and messengers, Matthew, they never met each other while they were preaching upon the earth, but they came with the same teaching, worship one God. Likewise, another, there's another angle to show that there is a creator who sent the prophets and messengers. If Prophet Muhammad was a normal human being, how come the book that he came with and the legislation he came with and the prophecy he came with or prophecies he came with, no one can come with it. For example, he said, there will come a time when you see the barefoot Arab man competing in building tall buildings. So Prophet Muhammad mentioned that 1,400 years ago. Now we can observe in Dubai. Qatar, in Arab countries, especially the desert, they are competing to build tall buildings. Rather, the tallest building in the world is in Dubai. Yeah. yeah. yeah Prophet Muhammad also mentioned, he said, there come a time when the Muslims, they will use something as a box to carry them. Something as a box. will carry them from their houses to the mosque with their family. Where are you from? Wait, wait, this is... How a box carried you? So now when the scholars mentioned, he said this is exactly what happened now, the cars. And he mentioned that the Arabs, they will stop using camels as a riding beast. If you go to Arab countries, before the cars, everyday camels. Now they are using cars. That's why as a Muslim, I don't believe Islam is the truth because I was born Muslim. No, because there is a tangible proofs and a logical proofs and a rational proofs that we can share with the non-Muslims and with everyone to show you Islam is the truth. Is there, anything, is there anything he got wrong? Prophet Muhammad, no. It can be because why? If he's a messenger of the creator of the heavens and the earth and that which is between them, if a prophet conveys something as a, as a revelation, he cannot get it wrong because the creator knows everything about his creation in details. Likewise, the one who made the camera, he knows about the camera in detail. Logical argument? Logical argument? It's a fair argument, yeah. It's, it's really, really nice to meet you, Matthew. Matthew, can I give you a website to check, please? If you want, yeah, yes, yeah. give him that about Abu Iyad's website. About AP, uh, yeah, uh, about Java Pen.